Hello, welcome to Boston Bone and Joint Institute. If you're watching this video, you may have a few questions about your Vacoped boot. This is the Vacoped Cam Boot by Oped. This boot has the ability to lock at various degrees of range of motion and features a vacuum liner which together immobilizes your foot and ankle. This boot also has the ability to achieve range of motion with both dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. The indication for use is the Achilles tendon rupture. Boston Bone and Joint Institute bills this durable medical equipment item to your insurance company. Please contact your insurance company for your benefits or contact our office for additional information. The purpose of this boot is to protect your foot and ankle while you recover from surgery or an injury, most commonly the Achilles tendon rupture. You should never remove the boot, progress your range of motion, or progress your weight-bearing status without instruction from your provider. You will be provided with a detailed protocol specific to your recovery. Please refer to your protocol for a full length of use and any additional restrictions. The Vacoped boot is universal for the right and left side. This will be appropriately sized for you at the time of your initial fitting. To apply, first unlace all four straps, remove the front panel, and remove the liner. Step two is to locate the valve at the top front portion of the liner. Uncap the valve and pull on the valve ring so it's flushed to the nozzle. Smooth out any uneven parts of the liner, depress the valve ring and cap valve to ensure a proper fit. Step three. Place your ankle into the liner and be sure your ankle is placed as far back as possible. To secure, close the liner at the front of your lower leg. Next, place the lower leg into the shell of the boot. Please ensure that your foot is flat against the bottom of the boot. Your heel should be placed into the shell as far back as possible. Depending on your range of motion restrictions, your foot may be placed into a plantar flexed or downward position, like you are stepping on the gas pedal. Next, reapply the plastic outer shell by placing it over the liner in front of your lower leg. The bottom flap should align with the inside of the shell of the boot, and the top flap should wrap around the shell of the boot. Please ensure that the valve for the vacuum feature of the liner is on the outside of the front panel and not through the hole. Next, secure the straps to hold the front panel in place by lacing them through the buckle and over the front panel. You may notice that each strap is a number. This correlates to the order in which you fasten the straps. Straps 1 and 2 are closest to the ankle, and 3 and 4 are farther away. Next, to utilize the vacuum feature of the boot, first locate the valve at the top front portion of the liner. Open the cap on the valve, ensuring the turquoise valve ring is pushed down. Attach the hose portion of the pump to the valve. This is the gray part. Next. Squeeze the black portion of the pump several times until it no longer recoils. At this point, you may notice the liner is more conformed to your leg and no longer feels soft. Remove the pump from the valve, slide the valve ring portion towards your leg, and close the cap. Lastly, adjust the straps as needed by either tightening or loosening each strap. The straps closest to the ankle, numbers 1 and 2, should be the most secure to ensure your ankle does not slide forward. If you feel numbness or tingling in your toes quickly after applying the boot, you may have fastened the straps too tight. Or, if you feel your foot sliding forward, your straps may be not fastened tight enough. To fix this, simply unfasten and refasten the straps by loosening or tightening as necessary, according to the order as directed on the straps. If your foot is sliding in the boot, or the liner feels soft, you may have not removed enough air. To fix this, simply reattach the pump and extract more air. You may need to detach and reattach the pump a few times in order to remove the excess air. If the liner feels soft and there is no additional air to extract, or if your foot does not lay flat on the bottom of the boot, you may need to redisperse the beads inside of the liner. To fix this, open the valve, unzip the liner, and remove the insert. Gently shake and squeeze the beads to disperse into all the compartments of the insert. Once fully dispersed and each area of the liner is filled with beads, reinsert into the liner and reapply the boot. As mentioned before, this boot allows ankle range of motion, specifically dorsiflexion or plantar flexion. You may be instructed by your provider to progress your range of motion. To do so, you may need to unlock 
and lock the boot in a fixed position or remain unlocked with the restriction allowing a certain range. Rarely will you need to make this adjustment on your own, and you should never make adjustments without instruction to do so from your provider. If instructed to unlock the boot, first locate the small light gray key. This key is mounted on the back of the boot above the range of motion restrictors. Place the key inside the restrictor in which you wish to unlock and move. Turn the key to the right, landing in the horizontal position. You may then need to slide the restrictor up or down to a different position. To lock in place, turn the key to the left landing in the vertical position. Depending on the restrictor set by the, your provider, you may need to move both of the restrictors. As your range of motion progresses, the foot plate on the underside of the boot may need to be switched. If your range of motion progression is between the 1 and 3, or 10 to 30 degrees of plantar flexion, the thicker sole foot plate should be applied to the boot. For progressions at the zero, which is a neutral position, or allowing range of motion into dorsiflexion, the thinner sole foot plate should be applied. To remove the foot plate, press on the small triangle located on either side around the heel area of the foot plate. This will release the foot plate. To reattach, simply line up the foot plate with the bottom of the boot and press into place. When the foot plate is secure, you will hear a click. The liner often becomes dirty or soiled, especially for post-operative patients. When your provider allows you to remove your boot, you may switch the liner with the provided clean liner. Be sure to remove the bead insert prior to washing. It is best to hand wash and lay flat to dry. The straps, protective front panel, and the outside portion of the boot may be wiped with a damp cloth. If you have any additional questions regarding your Vaco Ped Cam boot, please refer to your post-operative protocol, discuss with your physical therapist, or contact our office by phone or message through the BBJI portal to speak to a certified athletic trainer.